Hello my friends, it's me again, your favorite dance wear. I sure hope everybody's doing okay today. <laughs> you know, I've been watching a lot of uh, different YouTubers. Uh, not really YouTubers, just singers. Um, doing bar chords on the guitar. And I've started figuring a few things out. string guitar but I started figuring out a couple of things the hardest part with a bar chord is getting your finger right this finger because it has to lay across all the strings and to be able to get all the strings to sound like that from top to bottom nice clear note was getting really frustrating my issue was that, first of all, I didn't have my guitar high enough. I had my guitar down here. And I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to, my guitar's down here, and I'm trying to reach way down for it. So I realized I need to get my, foot, my, my knee up a little higher and get this guitar up under my arm. And then just from watching them, I've learned this. And then also watching them, I learned that the reason it was hurting my hand so bad is because I was putting my thumb out here trying to push, you know, squeeze the strings with my with my hand. So I was hurting my hand really bad. And then I realized from watching them that um, by having the guitar up higher, I can put pressure on the guitar here with this arm, which means I can push on the strings here without my thumb so that's how they get that that they're able to uh able to slide up and down the neck like that Just from watching, I've learned all this. Um, I did watch one video tutorial where the guy said, this part of your finger is extremely soft. You need to turn your finger sideways so you're actually using this part, the bone, which is very difficult for me to do. But I can get it somewhat sideways and... <laughs> to get every string now. point of this is that I'm learning from watching other people. I can't learn things from somebody saying, do it this way, do it that way. No, no, you're doing it wrong. Do it this way, do it that way. I've never been able to learn like that. So I basically just have to watch on the computer, just watch people and be like, okay, well, he doesn't have, he doesn't have his guitar way down here like this. He's got his guitar up here under his neck like this, right? Way up here. And he's able to get those bar chords. 
real easy. So basically I learned that the higher the guitar is, the less bind it puts on your arm. So when you're down here, so if I'm holding the guitar down here, you see how much of a bind my wrist is in trying to reach around that guitar and get that cord? Okay, it's really putting my wrist in a bind right here. Whereas if I lift the guitar up, you notice my wrist is more in a natural straight position. So the higher I can keep my guitar, So, I know that's really not uh, great music yet, but like I said, as I'm learning, I progress more and more and more. I practice for an hour a day. Um, I'm, I'm just learning. You know, my, my goal here is that I want to be able to play a 12 string as well as anybody can play a 6 string acoustic or an electric. I want to be able to... I need to learn all those bar chords and scales and things and say for example I take my 12 string with say I've got my 12 string in the truck just by chance I've got my 12 string guitar in the truck and I'm at a place where they have a live band and they say hey you know come on up and play one or they ask me if I want to play you know I've got a friend that plays in a band so there's a chance one day I'll be where he's at and he'll ask me to come up and play um, at that point, I'll be able to go get my 12 string out and I'll be able to go up on stage, plug my guitar in and keep up with the band with any chord anywhere on the neck at any, during any song, which I think will be badass. So that's my, you know, kind of my goal I'm aiming at. And it's going to take time. Just like with my dentures, it's going to take time. So, got a text message from USPS this morning that said my phone is on the way. So, we'll see how long it takes to get here. Um, in the meantime, uh, when it gets here, I will do an unboxing. I'll show you all about that. And, uh, you know, just like me playing the 12 string here and learning all these bar chords and things like that, with your dentures, it's, it's no different. Just don't give up. Just keep trying. When you're watching somebody eat something, it's it, like in my case, I'm not trying to show off. I'm just trying to show you what's possible. So kind of the same scenario with the guitar. Um, you know, doing a, a G chord here or doing a G chord here. It's the same chord. Same chord, sounds the same. The difference is I can go from a G to a C right here. Or I can go up here. So it's the same two chords. But it makes it uh, much more progressive. I can switch chords faster that way. I can put other little things in there to uh, make the transition smoother, things like that. But I'm just learning, so it's going to take time. And the frustration of my hand hurting and my fingers hurting and everything else is, you know, I went through all that with my dentures. My gums hurting, my jaws hurting, my mouth hurting, my, you know... I went through all that to get to where I am today. So I'm going to have to go through that to get good on the guitar. Better, much better than I am now. I am an amateur on the guitar. I suck. <laughs> I can play some chords and sing. 
that doesn't make me a professional. So I hope everybody has a fantastic day. Keep smiling, keep trying, and whatever you do, don't give up.